to use! Ruin start! Prepare to cut them down! This is for Oslo!
hurt you! Shut your ass, twig spy! Stand fast! This will be over soon! Worry not for me! You must stop! Silence, fool! So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize! Come and get him! Watch for the counter! Anglia has spoken. The Saxon lover comes to fight. A miserable clan you lead, Ruid. Yes, and one that has bled this country dry for two summers. You are finished here, Ruid. Your battle is not yet won. Flee, Ruid, while pity restrains my blade! Not till I've taken all these shores have to offer! East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you! That grovelling worm in a cage! You must be blind to stand with such a man! With all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you! Valhalla is my destiny! That fate will not be met today. Why does a Dane fight tooth and nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of all! He has an abundance that which you do not. He is fit to rule, fit to lead. You are not but a murderous plunderer. This land is rife with weakness. And you are just another blood. They should be ruled, Wolfkist. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewers you wallow in. This land is rife with weakness, and you are just another blighted dot upon it. Nothing a little fire cannot purge. Danes fighting for a Saxon king. The Sagas will scorn this day. I will enjoy this.
Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scribe of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. A wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. But some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Vinir? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin.
Come, see my wares. You never know when this might come in handy. You would look very powerful with that. You would look very striking with this. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Finish looking around. I'm all. Worthy celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor would just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife. This man and wife, I name you. Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With this Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain!
Rango! Leaf! Leaf! Skull, Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident. And will make it interesting. Good. I accept. Oh. Is that what you say? Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Drink more. Each name with a stick on a wood of the same way. Skull! 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 Strong, but I am stronger. I <laughs> stronger than me. You drink as well as Valdis. Now that I would pay to see. Speaking of payment, where is my silver? Here, well earned, Wolf Kissed. represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Have another horn of mead, brother. It's brewed with clover and raspberry, they say. Did you hear what I... Mmm. Yes, it's good. Keep that up. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! Behold, how light-footed I am. You're as light-footed as a bear in a birch tree. These are the moves of Elm and Wackma. Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. They are not broth here. My even after draining so much <sighs> Keep your eyes open. Yes, that's it. As with everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, uh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Bitch, bitch. Bitch, bitch. Bitch, bitch. Bitch, bitch. 
say when a standard boomer broke her from Levitin. These are the moves of Elmenhar. <laughs> Eivor, some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look, the moon. It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again, and it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. <laughs> You're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor! I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? I'm not one to bask in the glow of another's triumph, but I'll say this. East Anglia is safe. Under his protection, under his guidance, under his wing, the good King Oswald will keep you safe for many moons to come. To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... <laughs> the sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king. 
and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. You! Always getting in the way! East Anglia can burn for all I care! I wish it had not come to this. So much death. So much anger. What's done is done. You're leaving now. I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day, I will need you to make good on that alliance. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Valdis! Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk away. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. <laughs> Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. But now, my heart burns bright. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. A dream come true, like none other. Thank you for everything. From the bottom of my Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Brother, Oswald is in your hands now. Protect your king, and call out to my banner, should the need arise. Aye, Eivor. Without a moment's hesitation, travel safe. I will, friend. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the... Seems sad. I am. 
Sven was a good friend to me over the years. Was? What do you mean? Oh no, Eivor. You've been away. Sorry to say. Sven passed away not two nights ago in his sleep. No. How is Tovi? Taking it hard, very hard. You... Anyhow. What have you got? Ah, that one's pretty good. You are looking I have to go put that gear to good use out there. Always nice to see it. Have you got a car? Finally! The target is a... I do it! What do you have? Take care of... I'm... So long! May I see you? Can't have too many. I'll be sure to keep these in stock for you. Go on, give it a try. This would suit you. Is that a... I must take my... Always a ple... Tell me about what- When you hunt any animal, bring it here for a trade, and if you get- That said, though, I can't do much- I will- Happy hunting! Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rather... Your weapons show the marks of great battles. 
And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no... If you defeat a rare and worthy... Cr a good idea. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a... Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead... You feel we should drive them... I would eliminate them entirely. With your permission, of course. A good idea. Good. A pack... This way. I last saw them prowling around, just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement... Rowan! Holger! Why all this shouting? I could trade that hat. Eivor! Thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished! Ha! Rot disappointed word! Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger. Eivor. You have known me as a Skald for years. You have seen and you know that my work requires a certain... Often when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. All this is... You cut off my horse's tail to make it... Ruin! As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poet, I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth to make a perfect... You clipped Alcafer's tail to the rock! It was early. I did not wish to wait. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand. I believe my horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. Do not conflate hair with... Quiet, both of you. Holger, Broen is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market. But the horse was not for sale! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let return to your homes and... Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant pay?
painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't the care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulv has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest, one more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor... Yes, I'd heard. The poor man. I think we all wish that. Tovi mo Looks like something is happening near Volker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside. I want to see the... What of Oxenifertshire? Sigurd... Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon... He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install... There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother, then. <laughs> Along the great Owls River that... Randri, are you well? You see- I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look- Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride. To Grand Bridge or somewhere- That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of- I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Follow me. a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and popular. But wolves are a worry. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods.
It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety is awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from the <coughs> and scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grantorbridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. Welcome to Grantorbridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Well, 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 it's the very voice. see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randri, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randri. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. As something happened. Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having camped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit... Good. Eivor, come. <laughs> The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we fight them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. I'm certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. Stronger already.
you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle. So here we go. Paul lends me strength. There. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. <sighs> that was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to... You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains... We'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my... Your horse is outside. Find the court, she is safe. She is here somewhere. Over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Beautiful. Not have tried to outdrink me, Randvi. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, "Thank you, Randvi." 
So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy. Turn any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. No, no. Thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivat. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that. That's the one! Go. Kill! Hmm. I find that. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <laughs> you climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. <laughs> Well, look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but 
Not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Thank you.
While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I would like... Done? I must be are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah. Smell that. That's a male wolf. Marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. 
They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't, but I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better? I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. I don't know how to draw without your hand to... Toby. 
Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. Then Sven wasn't, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. They don't know. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But I know Sven believed in you. In your craft. So do you believe in him? He was the most skilled... And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But... Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. Eivor! I... It's you! The one fated to save my people. That woman seems to know me. Oh! It's you! Valka said we would meet, but I can hardly believe the great Eivor is fated to save my little Isle of Skye. Who are you? A hat of yourself as always, Edith. Eivor, Edith is an old friend and a seer. She contacted me for advice. Her people are plagued by nightmares to the point of madness. I wasn't aware people settled on the Isle of Skye. There are small settlements, but it is a place of passage for many, making it perfect for dreams to wreak havoc. Until now, I've mostly been deciphering if my cousin's feasting on feathers in her dreams means she should marry a farmer or a baker. <laughs> You've lost me again. Edith needs your help, and it's not just her people being affected. As someone deeply in tune with the spirit realm, I have also begun to lose sleep. I fear it may spread to our settlement soon. I will investigate. But it is not as if I have experience chasing away bad dreams. There is more. You're not going to like this, Eivor. But I believe somehow... <laughs> I know Randry's whereabouts better. Ever since the nightmare started here. I began asking the spirits for clap Though it was cloudy, I know what I saw. You will find Ranvi amidst the sea. The two of you will fight before- That just can't be true. Believing is your choice. The only way to find the truth and stop the nightmares from- I must tend to my duties. So? Are you ready? I need some time. Please, don't wait. You're back. Are you ready to go to Sky now? 
I'll find out what's plaguing your... Here we are, the Isle of Skye. Any idea where I should go? Investigate Kilter Aglan first. It's where comp- My dream.
gloves on a wedding day spell. Look, but a knee. Let's see you, old friend. <laughs> it started with a bird's eye view. No, no, an eagle's eye view. <laughs> Hey, uh, we don't need any. Oh. Three minutes, three hours. Please. Please. It's there. You. What can you tell me about the nightmares everyone is having? Tell you. Tell you. <laughs> I don't need to tell you about them. They will come for you soon enough. These nightmares spread like a plague. Worse than a plague. Sicken! Vivid, but not useful.
prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O wise one? Why struggle and fight? We are but threats stretched between anchored points. Without hope, life is a prison, not a gift. Life is the music that comes from playing those threats. That is what lifts our spirits and fills our hearts. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? We must devise a strategy to deal with these invaders. Ragnarok is the death of. Awake so soon? Yes. The fog cleared suddenly. I can speak of what I've seen, but... 
felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will. My love. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. <laughs> 